How's it going everyone? This is uh, Red2902 aka Red Knight once again. Uh, we are installing that starter right over there on this 340cc American Sportworks chuck wagon 4x2 powered by Honda. So this is a less than perfect conditions. It's cold and we don't have a, a jack or we don't have proper lighting. However, let's get to work. Now to start with, you're gonna want a 12 mil. Ugh. Got our bolts here. You're, wanting, you're gonna want a 12 mil socket. Start with well, to start with if you're installing would have showed you how to take it out, which uh, without actually ejecting the engine and taking all of those goodies off. Um, of course I'm talking about that and that plate right there and actually lifting it up but anyways it's a uh, to get into this area you're gonna need a, a, a swivel head Ugh. so what we got here Right now this is fitted with a 12 mil socket, but you're also going to need a really long extension. Well, at least this is what I'm using. You don't need it, but it will help you out a lot. Um, extracting it, you may need this to break it off. Not literally break it, but to break it loose. And then to fit in there, you're going to want something like this little guy and a small extension arm about about, mm, about yay long because uh, the way the uh, this uh, uh, flywheel right here is it sticks out just just enough to be in your way with just about anything else and you can't really get too close with it or else you're going to be offset like that. Uh, enough with that, let's get started on installing it. I do recommend taking pictures on the wiring portion of this. That way you, just, you know exactly how it goes back on. Uh, this as it is right here the way this is designed is you cannot extract the bolts from this side you have to do it from this side so the way this goes in is like this right here we're gonna go ahead and get this started seated in there finesse it around a little bit it's not easy to do with one hand but I'll get it done and alright alright so now that's in there but now we gotta come all the way around to this side. And you have to put your bolts in from this side. And this is what I was talking about just a second ago. You can see from here, possibly. Let me move this up a little bit. You see how that's seated? And that's just that's a direct view, straightforward. And you're able to see you can't 
get in there with a straight, just a straight shot. And there's another one right below there, right there. Can't really see, yeah, you can see it now. But yeah. That's what we're working with right here. This is the electric start for this thing. And we also have the pulley start. So this is a dual option. And you also have the option of removing this guy. And this has a an emergency start right there. This little notch for those of you don't that don't know how to work an emergency start, this notch right here, there's a little uh, cut in here that's a, di a diagonal cut where you tie, uh, tie a rope or whatever you have into a knot and then you wrap it around this little uh, cylinder right here and you do all your regular things to get it started with the pulley and then you just yank on that. Uh, most generators have this. Um, uh, I don't know about most pull starts, but I do know most generators have this emergency pull start. Um, again, not 100% for sure on vehicles or whatnot, but uh, yeah, this one does. Well, without further ado, I said this was earlier, a second ago. Let's get started. So, I got a 10 mil and a 12 mil. This 12 mil will help you out a lot if you have this particular uh, setup. This goes in this deal right here. Well, this one isn't designed to actually clip in, but it seats in there enough. So, let's go ahead and get these bolts started. Let's start them with our fingers first, just to make sure they're in there without, because uh, you don't want to go in there directly with it. Uh, with a power tool or just start cranking on it because you don't want to cross thread you do you do not want to cross thread cross threading would be bad so I'm going to go in here I guess you don't really have to worry about dropping too many parts because I mean it's nice open area so it'll just fall right through um, in most cases Now it's just finding that hole. Alright. It's not that one. There's the one that we need. Yes, it would be a lot easier to remove this plate before doing this. However, this is a scenario where things are less than perfect. So this is not lining up right now. So you gotta finesse it a little bit. My bad. It's not lining up exactly, so you, again, you gotta finesse it. And then, do your best. Try to get in here the best you can. Again, not very easy to do this one-handed, but I'm doing it for you guys. Mm. 
I'm gonna set the phone down for just a second. Got that one started. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that with my hand as far as I can. Start the other one. <laughs> Find that one. All right. Feels like we got it started, but actually, we did not. So, what I gotta do. Make sure this is actually lining up. Here that is. Mm -hmm. Alright, now I got it started. It's in there. And it's feeding. I'm gonna get that as tight as I can with my fingers. Alrighty. Those the way we want it. Booyah. Okay, so now here we go. if you can see me or not or see what I'm gonna do with this. However reach my impact in here best I can. Let's see what we gotta deal with over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, less than perfect conditions. Not the worst of conditions, but less than perfect. Ouch. So we're through that through and that through there. Alrighty. Like I said, that's not this piece right here is not exact 
fit for this because it does not have that locking notch right here. But it'll work. Now for this other deal. What I'm going to do for it is something else entirely. Sort of. Because I couldn't find the little extend the extension arm for this guy. I rigged something up. I took a. I'll show you here. Took a one fourth bit. Okay. Which is the size of. For most bits. That fits nice and snug right there without having too much wiggle room. So now. I'll bring the. Bring my happy right over here. Set this up. I don't have a stand for this, so uh, sorry, but not sorry. Can you see what I mean? So even this is not long enough. Because with that extension arm, you're going to be over here. And I was able just to sneak it in on them slats. And now, tighten it as much as we can. Because this thing is going to be rocking and rolling. And that's tight. Give me one second, guys.